crafting his points. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm not a big crafting guy, so I don't know. We'll see how that all goes. But I'm not. I'm not so much about the crafting. Whoa. Let's go back to the bridge. Let the source hunters handle them big brutes. Oh, nice, guys. Thanks. That's real big of you. Oh! What? Charge! Kill the unbelievers! Um... Ah, I thought I could get closer. Whoa! Ha <laughs> ricochet! Seven, huh? Just let them come to me. Yeah, that's a good call. I do have fire also. Oh boy. Let's see, um... I swore I had a fire arrow. Maybe I don't. Do you get any, uh, <coughs> or does it tell you if you get fewer points for being right here? Oh, no problem, Mindless. I, I don't even know. I'm just sort of learning, I guess. Um, it's going to take eight action points. Oh, gosh. Um, what was it? What was I saying before? Uh, oh, is there like a, uh, is there a negative to being right next to, um, is there a negative to being right next to the guy with a bow, with a ranged weapon? Base. Does anybody know? Is there a detriment to that? All right. What? Can't miss at point blank range. Negative is that he can hit you back. Ow. Ow. Ow! Too many hits. What is with this missing in the middle of freaking nowhere? Uh, I actually don't even know what difficulty I'm on. Normal. I normally try to play on normal difficulty because I always assume that's basically what they backed for. Uh, that's basically what they planned for. Ow. Oh, attack of opportunity. Oh, alright. 
I didn't know that that was the case, but that's good to know. What is with all the missing? It's not like doing any damage to the guy. You can hit him. Oh, I can't hit him. Oh, I keep forgetting. Well, now we got uh, we got him involved. The question is whether I can take out the orc by myself. Just gained a level. It's a good time for the level. Poisoned. That's good. Now we're getting there. Leveling up. Yeah, I figured that's what happened. I was looking at it. I was like, did I have that much health? Yeah, the poison. Did you see that? Those orcs had a human commander. How very curious. And how very disquieting. Alright. So, let's see. How do I... How do I level up? Whoop. What? Oh, that's the formation button? Okay. How do I level it up, then? Oh, that's how. Okay, let's see. Strength determines chance to hit with strength-based weapons. Dexterity. Alright, I assume that the bow is obviously dexterity-based, right? Yeah. Okay, constitution... I feel like I want to up my constitution one. Because I want to increase the number of action points. Because I feel like he was close to death a few times there. So I can increase this. Alright. Um, so I have one point on any of these things, right? Yeah, I figured as much. I know I do, but like Khan, I'll come back to the Constitution in a minute. Um, Aerothurge. Expert Marksman. Okay. When do I get an opportunity to get to level 2 of this? 1 point for level 1, 2 for level 2. Okay, so I need to save action points. I need to save action points. Um, oh, really? That would be awesome, Nedwin. What's your suggestion? I would appreciate that, man. If you could tell me what it is. So I'd have to save up... Basically, I'd have to save up a point to become a second-level expert marksman. Is that the idea? Okay, sounds good, Ned. Duty calls! What's up, bro? Um, Hydros Fist. Man-at-arms. What? Saving up points is normal. Okay. So I think I'm going to save that then. I'm going to see if I can become a second level expert marksman for this guy. So, alright. I'll, I'll make this guy a dex guy. I'm a little worried about his, his points. So. Uh, 
Up my charisma? Where's my charisma? What's uh, where's my, where would you find charisma? It's not here. Where's charisma? Personality? But where is that, though? Where is my personality listed? Like, I see perception. I don't see personality. Where is it on this? Is it, can I see it here? Here's my experience. Under my nose. Uh. Oh, I see, I see. Charisma. Okay. But I don't know. I can't, I can't spend this, though. Oh, I don't have any points in personality. I see, I see, I see. Okay, so these are the points that I start with. I gotcha. Okay. Saving throws. I'm not going to do defense. Nasty deeds. Okay. I gotcha. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Now it makes sense. Leadership Lucky Charm. Alright. Let's do that. Improves elemental and witchcraft spells, movement speed, strength. Um, willpower is important. You don't want your character to be charmed. Okay. What? I thought I did. Oh, I thought I did. Damn it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh... Let's see. So for a cleric, I mean, so does intelligence affect cleric spells? Like elemental and witchcraft spells, I guess it would say down here. What kind of a spell is minor heal? Taken before his time. It's not an elemental or a witchcraft oh, spell, right? Intelligence is for all spells? Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Well, hmm. Vitality, you have your max number of action points. Uh. Hmm. thinking about using speed because I'd like her to be able to do yeah I'm gonna increase her speed I want more action points and for this um, armor specialist and a shield specialist okay that's good all right good night EXE yeah that's what I figured I assumed more close combat yeah I mean definitely that's what it looks like Go with charisma. I'll have to class this out differently, obviously, when I play in quotes for real, but. Okay. Potion resistance potion. Oh, wow. That's better armor. 
Armor rating 7. It's a hell of a lot better than armor rating 2. What's the difference there? There's that. Nice. Okay. If you're playing co-op and you want to beat your partner with you contradicting you. Charisma is only useful for the one who talks. Okay. Yeah, I mean, remember guys, I'm not going to be basically doing this a second time. I mean, I'm doing this all over again. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just kind of getting a feel for different aspects uh, of the game, so... It's probably not going to be, uh, it's not going to be optimal. But I do very much appreciate the suggestions. I should let you guys know that I am, uh, the opposite of a min-maxer. Um, I cannot, I, I basically try to do stuff based on story and what I'm interested in with a character. So I tend to like to play charismatic leader type characters, um, to talk their way out of trouble more than I do guys who beat the hell out of things. So I will probably be focusing on that. And I don't even know if I would play a ranger. I do like rangers, but... I'm not sure if I'm going to play that or something else. It'll depend also on what series wants to do. So. Or corn. I like you much better with your guts on the floor. Tooth. A bone. Lots of loot. Chat with the Legionnaire should play a knight. Oi, the Source Hunter! <clears throat> Source Hunter! Nice to see these wings are blowing more than bloody orcs our way. Welcome to Sysield, comrade, and good luck. Tell me about yourself. I'm a proud Legionnaire and always will be, but I thought we'd be doing more slashing and less dying when we landed in Sysiel. What happened here? Bloody orcs are at it again. Beats me what on earth they want in Sysiel. This is their second attack within as many weeks and their second defeat. Tooth plus knight equals an arrowhead. Oh, nice! Very nice. That rat-faced shaman of theirs even went to the trouble of launching a fireball at a ship in the harbor to the west of here. A fireball? How are the sailors making out? It's hard to say. That ship needs attention and fast, or she's as good as sunk. Got any special source hunter tricks to make a blue sky turn to rain clouds? Maybe. Why is there a human fight alongside those orcs? Beats me what traitorous madness came over that dog. A man among orcs. It'd like be one of your kind running with a sorcerer. Whatever the curs incented to raise swords alongside that murderous lot, that's all I hope it was a private grudge. Can you imagine if we had to add a slew of wild-eyed, orc-loving bedlamites to our list of enemies in Sysiel? No, I cannot, actually. Oh, wait. Damn it. Swordfish, huh? Ooh, wow. That's very, um, hmm. That's quite a weapon you got there. Kathleen. Yes, indeed. I have a feeling we're not going to have a lot of uh, tolerance uh, reflected in the uh, people of this world. I'm just getting that sense. I'm just saying. Ooh, can I take that ship? So we got on the boat. And that's how everything worked out for him. Right? No? No. Oh, but there's a chest. Oh my god, the burning flame. Oh, uh, this is what you guys were talking about. Alright, let me see. Tooth plus knife on arrowhead. Alright, let's see. Uh... This is going to be interesting to see if I can get this all down. All right. Knife on arrowhead. Where is there an arrowhead? Maybe it's the other one. Put 
poisoned arrowhead, okay. Knife on arrowhead. Knife on the tooth. Alright, let me see. Send that to Cenevine. Alright. Not enough crafting. Oh, sounds good, Net. Alright, let's see. I do have a rain scroll, though. Save this first. Ha ha! Oh yeah! Got that journal updated. Where's the completed quests line? Oh, there we go. Fire, fire, fire. We saved the ship by casting it. Okay, cool. That's neat. Alright, we saved the ship. That's what we're all about. Oh, I already opened that. Cool, Nedwin. That's cool. Alright, guys. We're going to do another, like, five minutes or so of this. And then, um... <clears throat> because I have been streaming for a while. Um... We are going to... Let's see. How are we doing on time? Yeah... I'm probably going to have to call this fairly soon um, because uh, I have not eaten dinner yet. I had to get on early and the power thing threw stuff off and I've got to be able to actually get in and do things. And also, I'm going to be doing this all again tomorrow anyway with series. <laughs> so I was considering moving over to Valiant Hearts, but the problem is Valiant Hearts has probably got another four or five hours in it. And I don't have a lot of, like, I don't have five hours of time to put in right now. So, whoa, what's this? Who the hell are you? What's all this ruckus? It sounded worse than a dozen tomcats fighting over the world's last mackerel. Ah, but I see we suffered another orc landing. And judging by the relative ease with which it was dispatched, I can only come to one conclusion. Source hunters have arrived in Sarshiel. You're as welcome as a glass of cooled milk on a hot day, my friend. I, Marhu, at your service. It was I who requested your presence here in this troubled city. You see, I'm sure Source is tangled into the murder of Councillor Jake. Councillor Jake? But Captain Aureus, commander of the Legion in Sicil, insists I'm seeing ghosts. I insist he's blind all but the undead. Let's see. Very cute, Simon. No, not serious. Series. And by the way, uh, for people who are here, um, I would definitely appreciate it if I got a follow. I'm going to turn on that follower notification again. Uh, any follows would be appreciated here, um, and I am going to be playing this again tomorrow night with Series Runner. Um, and, uh, yes, and, uh, I am going to be doing a giveaway tonight, and we're going to be doing a raid as well, so that's the deal. Um, let's see. What have we got here? I think I'm going to skip all of this. Yeah, I'm going to skip all this because I don't really want to know all this stuff until tomorrow. I want it to be as fresh as possible. So I will do what Mindless says, and then I will, uh, and then we'll do the giveaway and the raid. Hey, what's up, Lawkeeper? Straight up into the city, then once in, go south to the buried grave. Make a beeline for it and dig it up. Is this the way to the buried grave? Am I going the right way? Where is this buried grave? North? I thought you said south. You said once in, go south to the buried grave. Go north? Oh. Alright, I thought you said south. Good to see you, Law. Northeast. Do you mean northwest? This is northwest. You mean northwest? Because northeast is going to get me out of the city. This is the opening to the city. So do you mean go this way, or do you mean go into the city but northwest? Oh, I'm not in the city yet. Oh. Uh, okay. Alright, I thought I was in the city. My bad. My bad.
Uh, commands, for some reason, isn't working. Cambridge bot is here, Lawkeeper, but um, commands is not working for some reason. Um, go up. Okay. Up the stairs. Oh, I see. I see. All right, cool. There it is, Law. Some really cool. I like some of the graphical uh, aspects of this. All right, now go straight south. Yeah, how's Anime Expo, Law? You been having fun? See a sheep. Let me go back. This sheep? Which sheep? There's a bunch of sheep. Go back to the first sheep? Okay. Like I remember what that was. This was the first sheep? Well, what's Aha! Spotted? Why am I not able to dig it up? Last time I was able to dig it up just like normally. Uh... All that digging and there's nothing here. Why am I not able to... Okay, let's see. All that digging and there's nothing here. Here we go. The earth here seems to have been freshly fertilized and aerated. Obviously, something has taken great care to maintain this grave, so they wish to disturb it. We'll do as we please. So right, let's get digging. Gaze at the dirt. Do it. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot, Mindless. Thanks a lot. I see how it is. Now you're like, oh, I'm going to be Mr. Helpful Guy. I'm going to help Arv out with this game that he hasn't played. I'm going to do everything I can. Blam. Here, just try in that graveyard. Is anything going to happen? No, it's fine. You could totally open that up. That's totally fine. No problem. <laughs> that was funny. On a scale of one to meow, what do you get this alpha? Well, first of all, it's not an alpha. It's the it's the actual game is released now. I was quitting soon. That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. I give you guys credit. I like that. Um, yeah, no, that was that was cool. Uh, right now, I'd say I give this uh, an eight. I would say is what I would give this so far. But so far, I'm digging it. I think this is cool. Um, I definitely am, am digging this so far. Um, all right, folks. So um, we are. Uh, I'm going to be calling it here in just a moment. But we are going to do a giveaway. And we are going to do a raid. Um, so that was a good way to do it. So uh, welcome in, Meow. And uh, thanks, everybody. I hope you like what you saw and heard. I am going to do a couple things after the cast. Number one, I'm going to see if I can work on the volume level on this follower notification thing. And then number two, um, I am going to... Uh, number two, I'm going to see what happened with my bat battery backup system. Fortunately, we didn't lose power again, but I don't know. Over 1 million damage, over 6,000 gigawatts. But this is a lot of fun, and I hope everyone enjoyed uh, the interview and, and got some, uh, some good out of it, because I thought that was enjoyable myself. Um, once I get a hold of combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely going to have to figure it out for sure. Um, okay, let's see. What am I going to do for... Let me get... Let's get some music here. Full 720. There we go. Get a little bit of uh, music going on here. All right, folks, so um, if you
If a banana is good and apple's bad, I would give this game a monkey. Excellent, Rogan. Excellent. All right, guys. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the stream today, and if you did, I hope you will. Uh, I hope you will be sure to follow that stream. I got a couple more trading cards. Every time I see this, I'm like, what is this? More stuff. Okay, so um, today for the giveaway, you're going to have a choice of one of three games. One of three games today. Um, and the choices that you have are as follows. Um, choice one is something I've been... A couple of these games are ones I've been giving away over the last couple of days because I think people have been choosing other ones, which is fine. But... Um, yeah, Sarah was very approachable. I really appreciated that very much. Um, uh, she was very nice about it, and she even put up with the uh, the ridiculous power outage, which was annoying to me personally. But so, if you win the giveaway today, um, I'm going to give you a choice of three games to choose from. You can have either Dungeons: The Dark Lord, which is kind of like a Dungeon Keeper style game. Or The Witcher, Enhanced Edition, Director's Cut. So number one is Dungeons the Dark Lord. Number two is The Witcher, Enhanced Edition, Director's Cut. And number three is Orion Dino Horde. Those are your three choices. Dungeon the Dark Lord, The Witcher, Enhanced Edition, Director's Cut, or Orion Dino Horde. Those are your choices. Um, and in honor of the game today, the keyword is going to be... Wait a second. There we go. So if you guys are interested, please type in that word Larian. If you guys are interested in winning either Dungeons the Dark Lord, Witcher Enhanced Edition Director's Cut, or Orion Dino Horde. Please type that word in if you are interested. Uh, I was born in New York City, Splatter. I was born in St. Vincent's Hospital in New York City. So again, if you guys are interested in winning one of those three games I just mentioned, please type in that word Larian in chat if you guys are interested. <laughs> Common writer. Really? Divine Divinity, I'm sorry, man. I can't. I can't. I can't go the, with the, the operatic voice, no. No, can't do that. There we go. See, I think that volume's pretty good. It was just during the interview, I guess it was a problem. Thank you so much, Rogan, for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Do you mean in the properties of, um, Nedwin, do you mean the properties of my follower notification? Is that what you mean? And yes, I do. I do have the same size. 580 and 110. Hey, Top. What's up, man? Yeah, Topkin, if you're interested in winning uh, either um, Dungeons of the Dark Lord, The Witcher Enhanced Edition Director's Cut, or Orion Dino Horde. While you guys are doing that, I'm going to take a look and see who we're going to raid. That's good. All right, let me take a look at the who we've got here as an option. Oh, wow. That's very nice, Splatter. Um, and what's up, Guardian Phase? If she wants one of my books, um, the best way is for you to drop me just a Twitch PM. Uh, if you guys, and this goes for anybody in chat, by the way, I'm an author, in case you folks don't know. So if you're interested in picking up a copy of my book, um, you can go to, uh, just send me a private message. Basically, I've done this for a number of people on chat. Um, for $20, uh, I will sign a copy of my novel, The Third Sign, which is my first novel. Or other books, actually, if I have uh, some anthologies that I have short stories in, which you could also ask about if you like. And then I will send you a copy of that book, whichever one it is, signed. And I'll ship it to you at my cost if you're inside the continental United States. Thank you for the follow, Snutzio. 
Thank you very much, Natio, for the follow. I appreciate it. So I'll send that anywhere to you in the continental United States at my cost. Now, if you're outside the U.S., if you're in another country, I'll also ship it to you, but we may have to talk a little bit about shipping. For instance, I recently sent a copy of my book to Leshrac, who lives in the Netherlands, and shipping for that was like $20 by itself. So Leshrac had to send me a little more to cover it, obviously, because otherwise it wouldn't make financial sense. So if you guys are interested um, in doing that, you can send me a Twitch private message, and I'm happy to uh, send you that as well. Yeah, no, good to see you, Guardian Face. I know, I know. I stopped, Rogan. I stopped. I stopped. Oh, my heavens. All of this stuff with the follower notifications. Oh, I know who we're going to raid. I knew exactly who it's going to be. All right. Um, so, uh, we are closing in here on the end of the giveaway. Good to see you, Lightning, De Lightning Death Twitch. <laughs> Who's... Lightning Death Twitch. Lightning Death, were you responsible for, for what happened to uh, my power outage? Lightning Death, why, Lightning Death? Why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta be like that, bro? Here I am. I have. I like lightning storms. I like thunderstorms. I like rainstorms. I like snowstorms. I'm good with that, man. But then I'm in the middle of this awesome interview that I'm having fun doing, and the chat's getting into it, and then you just gotta bring down my stream, man. Why you gotta be like that? Papers, please, man. That's right, I remember, I remember. It's so funny though, I was—I just decided to use you for my things. I kill lightning, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I remember you from Papers Please, dude. Good to see you again, dude. Good to see everybody tonight. I hope everyone had a good time today. That was a fun interview for me to do, I think, um, and I think Sarah did a great job um, answering questions, and, uh, and you folks all did. I knew you guys would. You guys do a great job asking questions and being respectful. For the most part, the, there was uh, one or two things that were slightly over the line, which we dealt with, but pretty much 99.9% .9 of it, you guys were very respectful and uh, asked some great questions. So good job, you guys, and more of these are coming down the line. Um, just as we're finishing up uh, this uh, giveaway, I'm going to let you folks know, um, I'm going to be on tomorrow night. Um, it's going to be late, though, probably 9.30 or 10 Eastern Standard Time, because I'm spending July 4th with my family, obviously. Um, so, uh, I'm going to be spending time with them, and then tomorrow night I'm going to be on with series to start doing the co-op run of Divinity Original Sin, the game that you've just watched me playing, so that's going to be fun. Then, uh, next week I'm going to have with my solo stream, I'm going to finish up Valiant Hearts. Um, we may or may not have a D&D stream next week, it depends on scheduling. Thursday and Friday and Saturday of next week I'm going to be gone for a conference in Boston, um, which reminds me, if anyone's in Boston, I would love to meet any or all of you. But I'm going to be gone, so I'm not going to be able to do my normal streams during that week. So I'm going to finish up Valiant Hearts and then we will be doing on my solo stream uh, a copy of the Fighting Fantasy game book, um, Caverns of the Snow Witch. This is a little bit like Twitch Plays Pokemon, except it's actually Twitch Plays uh, Twitch Plays Fighting Fantasy game books, basically. If you've never done it before, check out some of my uh, past broadcasts and you'll see what it's all about. I think it's a lot of fun for especially role-playing types. Um, once that is done, I'm going to be on my solo streams moving on to Warlock 2. And it's going to be Warlock 2 is going to be what I'm doing. Um, um, in my solo streams, and then Divinity Original Sin is what I'll be doing with Series Runner co oping with occasional D&D streams with uh, the group. So that's what we're looking at as well. So yes, good, it's interesting that you mentioned that, Lightning, because I'm going to be playing Warlock 2. Warlock 2 is a light, is a strategy game, and I'm going to be playing it. So that's the deal. Yeah, July 4th, man. That's what it's about. So I'm going to be playing Warlock 2. That's a strategy game, for sure. Okay, here we go. Oh, thank you, Chocolate Ice Cream Show. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, it really did end up with a bang. Oh, thanks, Guardian Phase. I appreciate it, dude. Again, if they want a signed copy, make sure to send them to me if they want a signed copy of my book. I appreciate that very much. Okay. All right, so here we are. Yeah, thanks, Guardian Phase. All right, congratulations, Sheep. What's it going to be?
You can never talk too much only say the wrong things. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, talking too much in a stream is sort of rough, you know? Like, <laughs> it's kind of what people are, they're, they're for both here. They're, they're here for both things. Yeah, Lightning, uh, the most important thing you guys can do is follow my stream, spread the word about the stream, and then, of course, if you're able to help with, um, uh, if you guys are able to help with anything like, you know, getting the word out to Twitch, letting them know, you know, working towards partnership eventually, that's always appreciated. But um, the main thing is for you guys to be here. You guys being here makes this um, what it is. It makes it awesome for me, a lot of fun for me. So that's the main thing. But going above and beyond that, book purchases are always welcome. Spreading the word about the stream is always welcome. So those are all good things as well. Oh, I understand, Lightning. Yeah, but you know, it's all about the story. What's the level of the book? Um, I mean, there's a number of people in chat who have read it. I mean, it was written for adults, but I don't think it's inaccessible to younger. I mean, I'd say definitely that, like, I think young adults could absolutely read it. I don't know about middle grade. I think, like, I don't know about middle schoolers, middle grade, like, below that. But if, you know, I mean, certainly if you're precocious, you could. But, like, 12, 13 and up, basically, I would say, is, is what it's doable for. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. I think actually Thorg is what I'm looking at. Uh, I think I gave that away, Thorg. I'm pretty sure. Oh, thanks, Polar. I appreciate it. Um, so, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, so I don't know, Thorg. I thought I gave it away. I'm pretty sure I gave it away. I was playing Skyrim seven months ago. Yeah, that's right. That's right, because it was back in December. It was right around Christmas time I was playing it. I remember it very well. Back in those days. But um, fun times tonight, because I actually think I want... Let's see. How many people did we get today? We got ourselves another... Need to be retirement age to really get the book. <laughs> Cute snark. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, good times, good times. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, how many did we get today? We got... 1748, very nice. So we got almost uh, 30 followers today um, added into the mix. That was very cool. 14, so you can read maybe. Ah, 14, that's workable. That's doable. So, Okay, so um, so Sheep, uh, just a reminder, Sheep, as soon as you send me an invite request... Um, yes, I still am giving that, that signed book deal. I actually mentioned to Polar. Sheep, as soon as you send me that Steam friend request, again, same name as on Twitch, Arvin Elleron, I will send out Witcher Enhanced Edition right to you. Um, and I've been streaming for two years, net? Maybe a year and a half, two years, I think? I think it was two years. Uh, I think so, because I think I started in April of 2012. So actually, two years and two months, I guess, actually. So, oh, my pleasure, Top. My pleasure, man. I was glad to do it. I hadn't been able to do it before, so... Yeah, no, you guys are a big part of it. We had 119 followers, uh, 119 uh, viewers today, which was great. And I always love doing these interviews. Uh, remember also, Tin Man Games down the line, which does the Fighting Fantasy game books for Android and iOS. I'm also going to be doing an interview with them down the line as well. Um, there we go. So if you do that, that's fine. Okay, guys. Um, so we are going to go do a raid in just a second. When we do a raid, we do it like this. This is the way we do it. You guys can feel free to practice in my chat. The Arvanauts have landed. Um, no, the first time that I streamed was, I think, late March or early April, Netowin, because it was uh, my first game I ever streamed as Legend of Grimrock. So uh, Demiser would remember, because I think he was one of the people watching me right off. So... Anyway, um, so yes, that's what we're going to be doing is uh, that Arv raid, and I'll tell you guys where we're going to be raiding in just a minute, but before I do that, I do want to um, 
before we do that, I do want to actually, uh, I do want to actually say hi to a few people. I want to thank uh, Cambridge for doing the wonderful work with Cambridge Bot tonight. Uh, I guess we survived the thunderstorms, Cambridge. That was rough though, but uh, thanks a lot, dude. Demiser, always a pleasure to have you on. Good moderation tonight. Good to see you, man. Lego Freak again. I just want to mention Lego has been uh, very, very loyal, doing a lot of good work on the moderation side. So Lego, thank you again so much. Good work tonight. Nedwin, always a pleasure. And Net, I'll send you uh, afterwards. Maybe we can, uh, I can talk to you briefly afterwards about the. Um, the follower notification thing like we can chat about that afterwards if that's cool and then series runner of course who I'm going to be streaming this with tomorrow um, so series runner is an awesome dude who you should be following you should be followed in Cambridge New York City as well because that would be good yeah I thought it was but I thought it was April net I don't know I, I want to say March or April is my first stream I don't know for sure but I know it was 2012 I know that uh, Climative, always a pleasure to see a Climative in here, one of my regulars, good to see you too. Always good to see Arcades in here, a pleasure as well. Benny Hill, what's up man? Benny Hill, um, has been with me for a long time, but I hadn't seen him in here for a while. Good to see you, Benny Hill. Playing some RPGs again, man, so hopefully I'll catch you around quite a bit. Birdman191, I don't know if I've seen you here before, but if you like what you saw and heard, I hope you will follow. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Build, always a pleasure, man. I know you got here a little late, but always a pleasure to have you in. Good to see you. Kathleen Stack, always a pleasure to have Kathleen in, someone you should be following, by the way. Good to see Kathleen. Welcome in again. Dark to Mokels, I don't think I've seen you in here before, Dark to Mokels. So again, if you like what you saw and heard, please follow. Dense Sun, which I really like. Oh! And I also have to come up with my favorite name. So when I go through this list, I'm going to start implementing this. My favorite new name of the night. So when I come up with a new name, I will tell you guys what my favorite new name is. No reward, just sort of a my undying gratitude and respect. Um, so anyway, Dense Sun, I like that name. That's one of the nominees. So far, my nominees for best name that I like are Dense Sun is the first one. Divinorium, always a pleasure to have you in here. Good to see you again. One of my regulars. Same is for Dragon Spear. Good to see you again, man. Thanks, as always. Duty Calls, another person that you guys should be following. Good streamer as well. Good to see you, man. Freak Show, I haven't seen you in for a while. Good to see you, man. Welcome back in. Gerald Lopez, I have not seen you in here before. I hope you like what you saw and heard and will follow. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Get That Memo, of course, is a regular. Someone you should be following. He's contributed to the stream before as well. Thanks a lot, dude. Good to see you. Giltonum, a good streamer you guys should be following. Gilt and I are going to co-op something at some point in the future. Always good to see Gilt in here. Guardian Phase, it's been a while, man, but good to see you again and uh, hope everything's going well with school. And yeah, definitely let your friends know if they want a book to uh, come chat with me. That'll be awesome. Gypsy King 33, always a pleasure. I think I've seen Gypsy King in here before, so good to see you again, man. Head of Nixon, always a pleasure to have Head of Nixon in here. Good to see you again, Nixon. Jedi Knight, same thing. Good to see Jeff Nixon. Uh, just good to see Jeff Nixon. No, Jedi Knight. Good to see Jedi Knight in here as always. Thanks, dude. Jeff UTV, uh, I don't think I've seen in here before. I hope you like what you saw and heard, man. Good to see you. Lakota Warrior, always a pleasure, sir. I hope that uh, the answer to your question was well received. I liked your question, and I do think there's going to be more representation of other uh, cultures and societies and games, and it can't happen too soon, frankly. Lightning Death Twitch from Papers, please. Good to see you again, man. Thanks for stopping by again. Mindless Auto Automata, I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. Thank you so much for the help with Divinity, and hopefully I'll catch you around here again. I appreciate it. And thank you for the follow, because I'm pretty sure I saw you follow before. Mosky Bear, always a pleasure to have Mosky Bear in here. What's up, man? Good to see Pavaland, as always. Good to see Pav, another one of my regulars. River Dusk, another one that I really like. I like the River Dusk name. So, so far, we've got Dense Sun and River Dusk are my two favorite names so far, new names um, so far. River Dusk, thanks for stopping by, and I think you may have followed tonight, so thank you again for the new follow if you did. Roik's always a pleasure, man. Good to see you, dude. Thanks so much. A regular of mine. Same with Polar. Always a pleasure. Polar's have been, been with me for a long time and also bought a copy of my book. Samsoner 2, always good to see you, Samsoner. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Always good to see Sirius Simon as well. Thanks for stopping by again, man. I appreciate it. Shadowed Mage, we did in fact get to uh, have you answer some questions, so you did get to see it, man. Good to see Shadowed Mage. Uh, thanks a lot for stopping by, man. Sheep Up, good to see you. Congratulations on uh, the win tonight, and thank you so much for the follow. I see that you sent me an invite. I believe this is you. And... Let's see. Yes, I see you. So I will send this right off to you. Um, in fact, let me, uh, before I forget, let me quickly just do this. Uh, let's see, Witcher. And let me just quickly mark down who it is that I'm sending it to. And think see. Awesome, there we go. Okay, I got you all set, Finksy. I will send that off in just a minute. Um, not Finksy, Sheep Up. 
Uh, Skiuma, thanks for stopping by, dude. I appreciate it. I think you may have followed me already, but thanks for stopping by again. Sneaky Kitty 2001, thanks for being sneaky. Thanks for being a kitty. Thanks for stopping by again. Good to see you. Snark, always a pleasure. Good to see Snark in here, as always. Snutzio, pleasure to have Snutzio in here again. Um, and thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for Spirit um, 001, or Spirit 01, who I think was here yesterday. So welcome back, Spirit. Good to see you. If not, then thanks for the follow, because I think you either followed today or yesterday. But anyway, recently. So thanks for being here. Splash. Splatter, always a pleasure, man. Say hi to your niece for me, whether I talk too much or not. Always good to see Splatter in here. Uh, thanks a lot, dude. Always good to see the buttness in here. Good to see you again, man. Good to see the Chocolate Ice Cream Show, which I didn't have a chance to do this before. I know that he's not exactly new, but Chocolate Ice Cream Show is definitely up there for me, and I haven't done this contest since he joined, so I'm going to put that up as my third nominee. Thor, uh, as a uh, favorite na new name of the night. Thorg23, always a pleasure to have Thorg in here. Uh, one of my regulars for a long time. Topkin, same thing. Always a pleasure to have Topkin in here. Someone else you guys should be following because Topkin streams some cool games as well. And last but not least, Rogan. Thank you so much, X Rogan, for uh, the uh, Divinity help tonight and for the follow. I appreciate it very much. So those three guys, Chocolate Ice Cream Show, Dense Sun, and uh, what was the other one that I really liked? Uh, Dense Sun... Uh, River Dusk, that was the other one. Dense Sun, River Dusk, and Chocolate Ice Cream Show. I think I'm gonna have to go with... I'm gonna go with River Dusk. Dense Sun is very close. Very close. But I'm gonna say that my favorite new name of the night, which has no effect other than just me saying it's my favorite new name of the night, is River Dusk. So congratulations, you've won absolutely nothing except my undying respect. Thanks a lot, everybody. I appreciate it. Thanks so much to everyone. Remember, we're gonna do this Arv Raid. Whoops, sorry. We're gonna do that. And we are going to go... What? Welcome Raiders. Oh, that's gonna be them. <laughs> okay. And, uh, oh, what's up, MP Tom? I didn't see you come in. You must have come in the middle, dude. Where are you? Oh, there's Joy Killer and there's MP Tom. Yeah, whatever. Like, good to see you guys. What's up, uh, Joy Killer? What's up, MP Tom? I didn't see you guys till just now. You just got in in time. Okay, guys, we are gonna go over here. We're going to this person, and the reason is because Series Runner is the person I'm going to be streaming with tomorrow. He's playing through Mass Effect 1. So let us go over. He's got 27 people over there right now. Let us go and hit him up. This guy's a great streamer, and you will get a little preview of what you can expect tomorrow night with him and me. That's it for me. Tomorrow night, Divinity Original Sin co-op with Series Runner. Now I'm going off to have some dinner and get some bed and get to bed. Thank you all so much for the follows and for the wonderful work tonight and the interviews. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. And now, please do that raid. Have a good night. Love you all. Best viewers on Twitch. See you tomorrow. Good night.